Hello, Lola's. <laughs> hey, Joe, welcome, welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, guys. I know it's been a while since I actually came on and spoke to you, other than that long, extremely long um, live stream that <laughs> we did together. Um, I haven't been online. Um, taking a very much needed little rest in between my projects. I have a lot of different projects coming up and, you know, between my customs and buy it nows and painting my personal babies. This girl is really busy, really, really busy. But today I have with me baby Noah and Noah is the Willow Asleep Sculpt. He is the prototype number two. So he was totally completed by Claire Teller herself. And he is my Noah Poo Poo Poo. Yes, he is. And did I say he was from the Willow Sleep? Anyway, guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. If not, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Give your girl a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I love reading comments. I stay in the comment section. Girl, what? Yes, even on everybody else's videos, baby. That is the first thing I do is I drop down to the comment section because that's where it all gets real at. Anyway, <laughs> and you know, you know, I, I can't lie to you guys. I love good conversation, difference of opinions, all that great stuff. As long as you're respectful with it, I am okay with it, okay? So, yeah. Um, so, baby uh, Noah is one of um now he's been around for a while baby noah has been in my collection for a year and um so he is one of uh claire's older sculpts and um so he's in in a very soft blend um poured in one piece he does have a drinking wet and he does have elbow armatures which i absolutely love and now my main thing is i prefer Almost every kit that I have, I prefer them to have a the elbow armatures at least. And I'm not uh, having a drink and wet is a, a give or take. I really can do without it because to be honest, I don't really use it much. Um, but yeah, so he is my little African prince. Yes, I have my little African princes and my African princesses. Say yes, I do. Yes, I do. So. He is, like I said, he's like the perfect soft. Like he's soft, but he's not too soft. He's not too stiff or rigid. Um, so I really, really enjoy his movement. He feels like a real baby when you're holding him. He cuddles really nice. Um, I think the main thing for me with silicone is the, the um, core having some type of flexibility with it. That is what to me makes it great um i don't know my camera is doing something kind of weird right now so i hope this thing is not going to be like choppy 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 or whatever but nevertheless like i said see he's very he's very flexible and i just want to show again i just want to reiterate to everybody that's watching sculptors collectors when you're showing the baby movement we really want to see the baby move we want to see how the silicone move not how you move it but how it moves on its own how fluid it is um you know how flexible it is now i'm gonna hold his head because i i just don't want to do that but he bends in his core which makes him super flexible and he wrinkles nicely but you know i i love the wrinkles but wrinkles isn't everything it's all about being able to pose my babies um I had a baby in my collection before that I really, really liked, but I was really frustrated when I would try to pose her in different ways and stuff, and I couldn't really pose her. It was kind of like limited to like one to two different ways of taking her photos. And for me, that is a part of my attraction to this hobby is taking photographs and having the babies look as real as possible. And not only just taking photographs, just for my personal preference, when I come in a room and I have my babies laying, I want to be able to have them, you know, positioned in a very natural pose. Um, 
so I think that is not all to do with just the softness but also the sculpting itself I think that plays a big part in the way that a baby moves and the way that the baby poses and all that great jazz so um that is something that is important to me um it is you know one of the biggest things that I personally look for but everybody likes different things some people just want to have the full body for dressing um being able to go without a t-shirt just a diaper and they just looked you know uber cute okay girl that wasn't my word but i just used it can i borrow that from you sis sis can i borrow uber cute yes uber cute every time i hear uber it's like I don't know why I think about the little groundhog thing digging up the dirt. You know, never mind. But I just, but I, you know, every now and then I, I feel like it just fits. So I, you know, I don't know. But anyway, so let's get him together. As you guys may have seen, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name is still the same, Miss Randy Smith. Um, but if you guys have not followed me, if you are following me on Instagram, you have seen. I made me a little chocolate. Um, his name is Kingsley, a um, chocolate a Gabri uh, Gabriel, <laughs> Gabby G Gabby Gale, um, and um, he's the brother of my Ada, uh, Ada, my little African princess, and um, that was painted by Marielle, which. She is like the love of my life <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, as far as my reborns go. And um, I don't re really paint um, the darker, deep skin tones that often because um, it's not that I don't want to. There's a diaper. I went and got another diaper because I was like, where is that diaper? Um, not because I don't want to. It's because I am not as confident in achieving those levels um as realistic so that was a challenge for myself um actually also i want to be able to paint my mom a gabby gill but i know my mom uh i forgot my mom really prefers uh awake babies um the sleep babies are triggers for her because these babies look so real and when they get really dark skin and stuff it kind of I think favors my sister or reminds her of my sister and long story short my sister passed away at about 13 months old and so um she doesn't the sleeping babies don't last with her she'll she finds a way to get it back to me so I know that it bothers her um so I she has to have a wake so you know she has Nini which is an awake um really really dark Gabby Gill but it was in my beginning phases and I think I can do a better job and I want to do a better job. So, and she really loves the Gabrielle sculpt and she really loves Ada. So, and I can't do Ada and Mary is not going to do another Gabrielle. She's, that's one thing I do love about her is that she doesn't paint the same sculpts over and over again. And I'm trying to get to that point, but I've already failed that since I've painted about 20 Gabrielles. <laughs> But, you know, just going forward, I, I get that concept, you know, one per sculpt. It's kind of nice. And then um, move on to something new, um, just exploring new stuff. Like I was talking on my live the other day. Guys, it, you know, I go live on my Facebook sometime and we were they were going for a walk with me, my evening walk. And um, I was telling them I really want to explore a lot of new things, new sculpts, new new you know knew everything um not that i'm giving up on my old sculpts or my old sculptors or anything like that because i am a die head die head <laughs> I, <laughs> what is wrong with me i am a die hard claire teller fan a die hard bonnie brown fan but i do want to explore other sculpts out here and sculptors as well so i am doing that as well but i am forever in love with those particular sculptors i think they just i don't know in my opinion they're just the the best in my my liking usually but i'm finding that i'm finding other babies that i am adding or other sculptors that i'm adding to my favorite list as well so 
I'm I'm broadening brought my horizon and just exploring and you know just just enjoying um collecting like I used to you know when I first came on I used to collect from everybody and stuff like that so I'm getting back into that and um so yeah so I'm trying new things and trying to see how far I can go how far can I go uh. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how far I can go. How far can you go? How low can you go? And I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, get you know, new stuff going on. Um, update on Phoenix. <sighs> Found out where Phoenix is. Phoenix went to Puerto Rico. Okay. I don't know if the post office thought maybe his daddy was in Puerto Rico or what or why they sent my baby all the way to Puerto Rico. But the address was correct. My rooters had the address perfectly correct um everything was correct but they sent him to puerto rico and they sent him to puerto rico and of course she called and you know stayed on top of it and then they read they redirected him so he's on his way back from puerto rico so anyway um sorry no disrespect but <laughs> he is on his way back hopefully to me so hopefully he will be here soon enough um but in the meantime i'm just trying to keep myself busy and try to hope for the best and go from there um so that that is what's going on with phoenix i am working on a partial silicone that i'm ready to just lord have mercy like i wish i could be like can somebody take this over and finish painting this like i absolutely cannot do partial silicone painting it is not my thing it is driving me insane i am ready to just cut ties with it but i gotta finish it because i have invested my money in it and i can't just throw away money so i'm going to finish and it's so cute and it's not, nothing against the actual sculpt itself or anything like that. It's just me and the way that you paint the, 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 the partials versus the full body. I just don't particularly like it. Um, I'd have to find another way. I probably would have to paint it like I paint my uh, full bodies and just not hang it and flip it over. But I just prefer not to do it, to be honest. I'm just, I'm going to be honest and just say I just don't particularly like it at all. Um, but I really like partial silicone babies and I really want partial a partial silicone baby in my collection so therefore That might be something else that I have to add to my things that I would have to buy versus doing myself and Right now I am definitely budgeting and trying to work on more of stuff in my personal um, like personal goals um, home projects uh, different things with Gabby stuff like that so I am not trying to spend any money right now um so I try to paint my own dolls or I don't get them <laughs> so that's where I'm at um so yeah so look at that little boy he looks so good in red I love it plus we're having um you know Noah he's also um his name was one of his, the inspirations of naming him Noah was off of a real boy named Noah who has sickle cell anemia. And um, sickle cell awareness month is next month. So it's putting your babies in all red. Yes, so Noah is getting ready for that because we always want to show support and love to the real Noah and to everybody out there that is, you know, fighting with sickle cell anemia. And like I said, I did have a boy cousin that did... Uh, um, have six cell anemia. Um, he passed away at about 23 years old. Um, not necessarily directly affect from the, the six cell anemia, but that's a whole nother story that's not to be shared here because it's my family personal business. But I did want to say that that's why I feel passionate about saying less support six cell awareness. Um, and learning a little bit about it, more about it. Um, Noah's real mom, the real Noah, I meant to say, his mom is real mom because he's really my baby. Give me my son back. Um, she called him Noah Bug. 
she has so much information and she's amazing her her and her husband and his sister they are so amazing with that kid that kid is so bright he got his own new business going on um it's uh Noah's crayon oh my gosh something I will try to get the name of it guys to share that with you guys he is now making crayons for kids other kids and stuff like that since he has to stay home because of the pandemic um of course he's vulnerable he can't go out so um anyway hopefully his mom don't mind me sharing that information because she did put it on her social media but I will share hopefully I'll be able to get the link and share it with you guys um in the description bar um for his little business that he got going on you go Noah go Noah go Noah go Noah so yeah he is doing his little thing he's a little 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 businessman already so it's so cute but anyway just one of the highlights um I always love seeing positive things uh family beautiful family happy families um doing their things I know this is a doll channel primarily but you know there's a lot to life you know and it's just I just love it you know I don't know about you guys but it's kind of contagious when you see happiness and joy and excitement and, and people thinking of the positives and, and moving forward it it kind of catches on you know um, so yeah I know we always talk about how the negativity and tox tox toxic people um will affect you but let's talk about how the positive people will affect you as well i'm trying to get up close to see how much time i am in okay so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video now but like i said i just wanted you guys to see my little noah and get him changed i know you guys haven't seen him in a while um he is always in mommy's room um he's not gonna go anywhere he is gonna be here to stay i've decided that I, I definitely can't part with him so that is that and um we will see you in the next video right well I'll see you he'll be asleep let me see if I can zoom zoom into him a little bit more did that so my Noah all right all right so I don't want to be this close to the camera definitely not <laughs> so talk to you guys later guys if you're not a part of the chatterbox please make sure you join we will more than likely be partying tonight having a girls night i am doing the um pink table <gasps> pink table talk yes honey i had to still since you know jada have a red table talk huh what we gonna have the pink table talk and it's basically where i do an off subject in the chatterbox is for the grown um, you do have to be at least 18 years old to join and it is a dollar and 99 cents guys a dollar and 99 cents is basically you're just supporting your your creator um it's no different than doing a super chat um so anyway i'm not going to get into that but make sure you join if you have not joined and i'll see you guys later tonight thanks guys bye bye lola And I'm telling you, I ain't going nowhere, cause I'm the best thing YouTube ever had.